Our Region's Business is sponsored by PNC, for the achiever in us all. And by Fregasso Financial Advisors, how different could your life be? Fee-based investment management securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA SIPC. Our Region's Business. Innovation. Transformation. Momentum. Improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, a billion dollar investment in our region and the science behind a successful investment strategy. But first, the Carnegie Science Center salutes the best of our region's best when it comes to science and technology. Innovation and technology drove the Pittsburgh region's economic comeback over the past generation, whether it was new technologies to make manufacturers more efficient or discoveries that powered startups. And each year, the Carnegie Science Awards puts a spotlight on our region's innovators and their world-changing discoveries, and just as important, the educators that are training the next generation of scientists. Jerry Whitaker chairs the Science Awards. He's president of the Americas for Eaton Corporation's electrical sector. Ann Metzger and Ron Bailey are co-directors of the Carnegie Science Center, and welcome. Good to have you all back. It's good, good to be, be here. Thank you. Another great year, 15 years, hard to believe. It's been 15 good years. It's been 15 great years. We have uh, honored more than 275 individuals and corporations in those 15 years. We were proud to, to showcase their work to Pittsburgh. Well, and uh, you, you all have to have some favorites. I know it's hard to pick among uh, the, the, the long list of, of awardees, but you think about the folks who were honored this year. What were some of the ones that really stand out? Anna, I'll let you start. Well, I, I'm always very impressed with the students and the educators. Those are always my favorites. Uh, we have, we certainly have great corporate leaders and great researchers, and um, and and Ron can speak to to some of those. But when the students take the stage, they take their place with those professionals in the field. It always just makes my heart pat a little bit faster. Well, it is exciting. It's next year we have the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, bringing thousands of the best and brightest to our region from all around the world, so even more attention on this piece of it. How about it on some of the, the academic and, and business innovators? Well? well, you know, I think there's some great ones this year, but I think Alan Russell's work at the McGowan Institute uh, in advanced materials, developing an antimicrobial surface, a surface that uh, bacteria cannot grow on that I think, you know, within the next several years is going to become a standard in healthcare uh, uh, situations or operating rooms. Uh, it's going to change the nature of that business and it's a wonderful story that's happened here in Pittsburgh and uh, I mean I think that's part of the, the honor that we have in the awards is being able to tell these great stories that largely we don't, we don't hear nearly enough about. And, uh, and to make the public aware of just the great stuff that goes on in this region. You know, there really are so many hidden gems. One of them, the Chairman's Award winner, however, is not a brand new company. It's not a little company. It's, it's Allegheny Technology. They, they've been around, what, since the 1930s or so? They're around the 30s. They've evolved into a, a great company, a large, diversified uh, uh, specialty metals company. They uh, specialize in, uh, in uh, mission critical metallics for di various industries. And, uh, we recognize them because of their expertise in that area and their uh, their investment in the uh, in the southwest Pennsylvania region. Uh, they're adding a new uh, mill here now, and uh, it's just a good time to recognize them. This has been a, a big personal initiative of yours as well as Eaton's in recent years, chairing the awards. Why, why is this a, this a priority for Eaton? Well, this is our eighth year. This was our eighth year of sponsorship, and uh, we've signed up for an additional three years. What better way when you you have a company that's focused on uh, science and engineering for their product development and really building the foundation of how you grow a company to be associated with the Science Center, which is all about that, and specifically with the Science Awards of recognizing people in the region that are uh, so focused at science, technology, engineering, math. It's just a great association. Well, and you forged some really important corporate relationships of late. I saw recently what, uh, one of your neighbors out on the airport corridor, Bayer now has, has branded the, the, the theater there, the science stage. The, the Bayer science stage, indeed. Uh, Bayer has a, has a named presence for that stage. And I think that that's, that's really testimony to the importance of science, technology, engineering, and math to the future of the corporate community in our area. And, you know, we, Ron, and I speak with corporate leaders every day who tell us that they're concerned about that future workforce. 
And so what better way than to invest in these kinds of experiences that the Science Center can offer that inspire young people to consider careers in science and technology. And given the business uh, of running a museum business, these kinds of corporate relationships more and more important? Absolutely critical, absolutely critical to us. Um, we certainly um, rely on corporate support a great deal to support those educational programs that we offer. I think it's one of the things that makes Pittsburgh unique is that the corporate community here is so invested in that next generation workforce. And uh, we're just happy to be able to play that role of, of broker and really connecting them and their needs to schools and to, to young people and get that message to teachers and, and to parents. Uh, you, know, you touched upon the whole STEM, the science, technology, engineering, and math. That's becoming even more of a focus uh, for the Science Center these mm -hmm. days, yeah? Well, it's always been a focus. I'm not sure we've used the word STEM, but that's a mm -hmm. word that, that is often used um, uh, across the region and the nation now when we talk talk about these types of careers. Uh, it's estimated that in the Pittsburgh region there will be um, a need for up to 200,000 new workers in science and technology um, in, in just the next few years. Wow. And corporations are concerned about, about whether the workforce will be prepared to step up and take those jobs. And, and I might add, I mean, I've been on a number of committees with the IEEE. And what we found is, and, and to me this is why it's so important to work with the Science Center, that to get kids interested in engineering and science and math, you really have to start them off early. And that's what the Science Center does with their outreach programs. It's just, it's something that has to happen and if we're gonna be competitive in this world, STEM is critical. We, we believe it's critical and the, the types of hands-on, interactive, kind of messy experiences that we offer at the Science Center can inspire kids to want to learn more and can inspire them to then apply themselves when they get back to the classroom. All right, well, always exciting. Great to give an update uh, in, the, in year 15 of the Carnegie Science Awards. Uh, Jerry Whitaker from Eaton and, and Ann Metzger and Ron Bailey from the Science Center. Thanks so much and congratulations. Thanks Thank you, Bill. And next up, Allegheny Technologies takes home the Chairman's Award and brings home a billion dollar investment to our region. Stay with us.